Hey folks, big news. I got a new hoe today. Hi ho, hi ho, it's home from work we go. Hello again folks. I uh, think we got a rainy day here today, so I'm working inside. I picked up a new hoe. I saw this for sale at a Himalayan store and I kind of liked it. It's got a big, wide head on it. It's got a long scoop. It's a pretty enormous head, but there's something I don't like. The handle's too short. My problem with this, it's about a three foot handle, and it's actually less than that because the head chokes to about here. And I don't like that because if you want to work it, you got to really get down low to bend. Um, I don't feel like that's good for the back. I don't think that's good leverage. So, I like the head, don't like the handle. So I think we need a new handle. <coughs> Now I did a few measurements. Now see, this is also just a cheap handle anyway. You can tell it's it's a table leg, basically. Um, so I looked at this thing here, and it's this is called an eye hole right here. And you just kind of the way handles go in is they slide down through the top, and it tapers. So the handle gets a little bit wider, but also the head tapers. This part here is slightly wider than this side. This is about two inches across. This is one and three quarters. So I need a piece of wood that's slightly more than one and three quarters where this would mount. So that's what I'm sort of on the hunt for. I was looking at some wooden dowels. Um, they're a little bit too short. I also found some curtain rods that would fit, but they have... Um, they're not usually fully circular. Same thing with railing handles. So I think we've got to go to nature to find it. And I was looking around the yard and I found this stick here. This is from a mimosa tree that came down. It's about mm, four and a half feet long, so it's a good bit longer than the other one. You can see the length difference. Now it's got a few problems with it. One, it's wet. Two, it has this bark on it, so I gotta worry about that. And three, it's got, you know, it's got some places where branches come out. So what I've been doing is just kind of clipping them down a little bit. So I just got like a hatchet, just got a hatchet here, and I just sort of find where there's like a rough spot, and I just kind of file it down lightly with the hatchet here. I'm not sure if I want to keep the bark on or off. I should probably remove most of it, especially if it's wet at all right now. It'll help it to dry out to remove the bark. I should say you want to dry out the wood um, because wood shrinks. Wood has a lot of water in it. And as it shrinks, it, it uh, contracts. And so the size of this thing, we're not exactly clear on until it's done drying. Also got a couple other issues with this. It's split at the end here. So I'm going to have to mend that. We'll go over how to do that. I think what I'm going to do is when this dries, glue it, and then I'm actually going to wrap string and glue around it, and it'll kind of clamp this together. But this is actually a pretty good size. Um, you know, the handle slides on, or I should say the head slides on the handle pretty well. It starts to get hung up down here um, about halfway through, but I think if I remove the bark and smooth it down, it'll almost fit on this thing perfectly. I mostly have to worry about fixing this. Um, for the bark, we'll go over how to peel that as well. But so, as far as peeling the bark, some of the upsides to that are um, it'll help the wood to dry out faster, it'll give you a, a smoother grip, and because this wood is wet and has bark, it kind of stains your hands. Um, so I'm going to work on kind of peeling this down in strips. It seems to be coming off pretty nicely. What I did here was, I wasn't sure exactly how far I wanted to take the bark down, so I just kind of cut basically a, uh, a circle around it, just a nice little slice around here that just goes through the bark layer. I just got a screwdriver, and I just kind of pry till I get it, and the bark usually just peels off pretty nicely to where I cut that ring. So this is a mimosa tree. We can go over what they look like as well. It's a very pungent and flowers. 
And see, this strips actually pretty well. Now, it's really wet, really wet, this wood. So, and it does have a little, little pungency, too. So we're going to go over how to make a handle out of this, and I'm hoping to be able to use this hoe. So this hoe is just a little, a little too short, the handle anyway, but I like the head on it. So let's see what we can do. I'm going to take some mending, peel the bark, smooth it down, see what we got. Let's check back. So I just used the screwdriver to peel under the bark and then strip away these pieces. This actually would be, historically you could make rope and do all sorts of things with these nice long thick bark streaks. Um, it's almost like a long ribbon you get here. We'll see if we can repurpose this into something in another video. I'll save some of the longer ones. Let's see if I can get some nice big pieces out of this. I just kind of pry away a little bit here. Not bad. Get a little bit more of this. So you just kind of slide it between the wood and the bark at the cambium. Get these nice pieces here. peeled quite well. So the next step is I'm going to dry this thing out. I think I'm going to put it in the house. It's a little bit drier, a little bit warmer in the house. Um, but we're going to dry it for a little while, let the moisture content drop. I might first, if not glue at least, tie and bind this together so it sort of dries held together. Um, and then we can glue it later, but I don't want it to dry. Sometimes wood will dry and as it dries, it won't stay straight. It'll kind of go in different directions. So what I'm going to do is just tie this together so it holds it firm. So I'm just going to get some string and loop that up here. All right, so I'm just going to take some string here. I'm going to try to tie this as tightly as I can. Straighten up. As you can see, the wood is shifting a little bit. So what I'm going to do right here is uh, I'm going to put them together as close as I can. In fact, I might even clamp it first. We'll see. I'll just get some of this string here. And wrap it around real tight. Like I said, the reason for wrapping this thing, and you want to do it tight, is the wood is split here. This was not meant to be a handle. This is just scrap wood from a tree that came down. Um, I just found it in a pile in the yard, but it turned out to be an almost perfect size. Like I said, I don't want this wood to split further. So I'm going to wrap it pretty tightly here so when it dries, it doesn't separate out more. And I think that can be done. Just clamping it here. When it's fully dry, I'm going to uh, try to glue it together and uh, let's see what we got. Ho, ho, ho.